planet on our list, Mercury. Meet me in the lab to learn more. Meet in the lab, okay. Ah, you see the word VR? You study. Mercury is the smallest planet and the planet closest to the sun. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun, but it is still a huge 36 million miles, 58 million kilometers away. Here you can see the sun's fierce solar winds and a phenomenon known as a coronal mass ejection, or CME. This is a large blast of plasma and a magnetic field from the sun. If you could stand on the surface of Mercury, the sun would look three times bigger than it does from here on Earth. Okay. Oh, what's happening? Again? What's happening? Uh, you see, again? Oh. Do you see me now? Yeah, I see you. Okay. Oh, you you turn that. You turn to other book. Oh, you turn. The most important planet to you and me is Earth. Meet me in the lab to learn more. Planets are round. They're spheres. Our Earth is special because it contains the most important substance for life, at least as far as we know. I'm talking about water. All of life on Earth is possible because of water. It's the perfect distance from the sun for water to be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. It makes Earth inhabitable by people like us, humans. Any closer to the sun it would be too hot for life. Any further away it would be freezing. The Earth's combination of rocks, water, and air help to support an abundance of life, including plants and animals, cells, bacteria, and you and me. Hey, uh, come back. Oh, see? Oh, uh, are you are you back again? Here? Yes. Can you see me? I see you. Okay. Uh, let's let's do it again. Oh, you turn the page. Oh, you turn the page. You wait for him again. You wait for him to come out again. You just wait, huh? Our atmosphere is the only thing No, no, no. It's a thing. Okay. You see the VR word? Oh, you, you look at the VR word. There. There? Okay. Do you see the VR word? Yes. Okay. You just look at that. For it to activate. <laughs> again, again, again. Again, again. We are. There is not. There is not? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, this one. This one. Asteroids hitting Earth. We imagine that sooner or later there'll be an asteroid with Earth's name on it, meaning it's set on a collision course with our planet. So how would we deflect it? Turns out we need to manipulate its direction or speed by only two millimeters a second to make it miss. At the Planetary Society, we've developed a program, a concept, we call the Laser Bees. We'd make spacecraft that take solar energy on solar panels, make electricity to produce laser light and evaporate or burn off the surface of an asteroid just enough so that the ejected material would change the momentum of the asteroid just a little so it wouldn't hit the Earth. Earth would be saved.
asteroids hitting Earth. We imagine that sooner or later there'll be an asteroid with Earth's name on it, meaning it's set on a collision course with our planet. So how would we deflect it? Turns out we need to manipulate its direction or speed by only two millimeters a second to make it miss. At the Planetary Society, we've developed a program, a concept, we call the laser. See, that's how you exit. How about this one? And why is one? Oh, this one, this one, this one. What's back? This one. Ah, oh, that one. You look at that why one again. Why is this itchy? Oh, you look at that one. This one, this yeah. one. This one. Oh. No, you, you, no, you, you're, uh, no. Don't, don't put your hands on the camera. Okay? Oh, you look at this one again. You wait for the guy. If you magnetize an object and allow it... If you magnetize an object and allow it to move freely, it will point towards the north and south poles. In this experiment, we'll magnetize a pin to make our very own compass. Look at step one to get started. Oh, this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. And there's a lot of oh, earth. You, 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 I oh, know, you focus here. You focus on this one. Oh. Wait, wait. Oh, this one, this one, here, here, here. Here, Trevor. Settling Mars. What would it really take for humans to settle on Mars? And is it even realistic? Well, for starters, we should consider that every big migration in history, or even when we move to a new city, has at least two major things going for it. Breathable air and water, neither of which exist on Mars, at least not enough water to drink. It's just a very inhospitable place for us humans, as romantic and futuristic as the idea. 